Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. All right, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a cool 90s camcorder video effect in Camtasia. All right, so you know the effect where, you know, there's some video footage on the screen and it looks like a video camera is on the screen and it's got the record button and the battery and it's like from the 90s it's like a VHS type feel more of a vintage type feel well I grew up in the 90s and back then we used to call video cameras camcorders so that's why I still call it a camcorder but basically it was a video camera and I'll show you in a second what this effect looks like and then show you how to do it yourself. So I'm here in Camtasia and I've got some regular footage here. So this is the regular footage that I was playing around with. There's no sound on anything so it's just going to be silent. So I'm going to play it and then it's going to play maybe for 7 seconds normally how it is now. And then it's going to change over to the effect the 90s video camera effect that I'm going to show you guys how to do. So I'm going to play it right now. So this is just me. This is actually where I am right now, um, filming right now. And then it's going to switch over. And now, as you can see, it looks like I'm using an old school camcorder. And it's black and white. We have the record button going. And this is flashing as well. And it looks like it's, uh, you know, footage from the 90s. So this is all made in Camtasia, like, from scratch. And it's all to do with shapes and text. And there's only one thing that I imported that I didn't make. But I'll show you guys how to get that. As you can see here, this is a really neat effect if you want to do, like, sort of a flashback thing. Or if you're doing, like, a retro 90s feel, this is a really cool effect. Now you'll see that I have a lot of tracks happening. I have like, it says track 13, but I skipped one. So there's 12 tracks happening on this project. So that's a lot. Now you want to be able to do things in order so it doesn't get too crazy. So first track here, track two, that's the actual video. Okay. And that we color graded by going over to modify, add effect, visual effects, and then hitting color adjustment. When you do that, it's going to make your video from color to black and white, but it won't look as, you know, as clean as this. You need to modify it. So the settings that I have on this black and white video right now is brightness is at 7, contrast is at 5, and saturation is at minus 100. Now I'll show you in the regular footage what it looks like when you initially go to it. So again, I'm highlighting it, going to modify, add effect, visual effects, and then color adjustment. It's going to be quite harsh, and it's going to give it almost like a cartoon effect, kind of like a sketch cartoon effect. I mean, it's cool if you want to do that, but this is too... Like, this isn't giving me the 90s vibe like this is. So, as you can see, you just need to change the settings. You can play around with it, make this brightness lower, and definitely bring the contrast down because that's making it... That's what's making it crazy. And you don't want to play with the saturation because then that's going to bring in color. And we don't want it to be color. We want it to be black and white. So that is how I got the black and white color. Now you can play around with the brightness and the contrast to get the right type of black and white that you want for your video. I'm just going to exit out of that. Next are the shapes. So you see all the white lines. I used two, four, six, eight eight white line shapes and they're all individually shaped so they don't come like that you need to make them so this one right here I'm just gonna copy it and paste it so that you guys can see what it looks like on a on a blank screen 
So this right here, I made this line shape by going over to annotations, shapes, and I just grabbed this one right here and I placed it on the timeline and then I made it as thin as you see now. You can make it thinner or thicker and then you don't want to make it too long because you're making like sort of a 90 degree angle that you see here. Uh, initially when I made these white lines I made them too long so I had to shorten them and how you shorten them is see when it gets a little bit small you kind of need to be careful with your mouse to what you're you know what you're on see these little arrows you want to make sure that you're on the horizontal arrow because then that you know controls this if I'm on the vertical arrow then it's going to do this so when you are getting when you're making shapes smaller and smaller just be aware that it might be a little bit tricky but it's going to work out so that's how it is to make the white shapes and I made them I made eight of them and I made them in order so here's what I mean because if you go and start placing them everywhere you're gonna get confused and you it might not be as efficient when you're trying to resize and move things over because I didn't get this perfectly matched up right away I had to move things around and shorten some of the the, the lines here and just angle things differently so the next line that I have here is this one so I made all the horizontal ones first so when I made the top left then I made the bottom left then I made the top right then I made the bottom right and then I move on to the vertical lines so this one right here I start right back from the beginning I made the same thing I made the vertical line the same way that I did with the horizontal you just need to, to tilt it and I'll show you how I tilted it so I'll go back to the example here so you see this right here and you might be thinking oh let me just make it like let me size it vertically well you don't need to do that you can take your horizontal line one that you've already shaped and sized and you can just make it vertical so when you go over to the little circles here you want to go to the green one because the green one means it rotates all the other ones aren't going to rotate it's going to alter the size this will not alter the size it's just going to rotate so if I click on it and I go like this it's just going to rotate and then here it kind of locks in position when you're completely vertical so this is how I made the vertical lines so here's the first vertical line that I made and I literally after you make one just copy and paste it because then it's just gonna efficiently make things go faster and you'll already have things the size that you want so then I made this one the bottom left top right and bottom right and then they all make the little right angles next was the record button where it flashes like when you're recording something usually there's like a red button flashing I used the ellipse here it's not really a circle yet but you need to shape it into a circle so I basically took this this is how they give it to you initially and then you want to click on the side here and just make it look like a circle so here's where it looks like an actual circle to make it smaller you click on the corner area click shift and it's gonna keep the size and make it smaller so I made it something like this size and then I headed over and changed it to a completely red color because that's the recording color and you head over to annotation and you see it's a two-tone color right now it's white and purple so I'm gonna just I want it to be just full-on red and then I don't want that and I'm gonna make it red but move it all the way because I just want that bright red click out of it and that is your record button the same one that I have over here next is the text that's super simple I basically went to 
annotations, went over to the text, grabbed this text, and I didn't even change the font. I just used the same font because I thought it was fine, which is this font right here. And then you type in rec, and then I just made it smaller and I kept it as white to match with the other white. Next is this battery. I didn't make this battery, but you can get many free icons if you go to Google and you type in like free battery icon, then you'll be able to find one and I just downloaded it and I imported it into my media and then I placed it on here. So now that you have all of the pieces, it looks great, but you need to add a couple of animations. So the red circle record button that usually flashes when you know it's quote unquote playing and recording and I chose to have a empty battery and what usually when you have empty battery it's like red and it's flashing I thought that would be another cool effect you can find a battery that's fully green and, and just sort of stays static you can do whatever you want but I wanted it to have like a red record button and a red empty flashing icon as well. So we need to add animations and I'll show you the specific animation that I did for both of them. So I'm here on the red record button right now and the animation that I used, sorry, um, behavior, I keep calling them animation. Behaviors are animations, they're, they're the same thing, it's just they called them behaviors because they're already pre-made but essentially they are animation because it's causing it it's causing the shape to to do an action so under behavior I used fade and all I did was drag this fade onto my red circle shape and then I altered it so I went over in here and it already does it there's three features in during and out in and out are fine because it's going to fade in and then it's going to fade out. The during is what you want to alter. And I'm going to add the fade on my little test here to show you guys what it was and what I changed it to. So I'm going to add the fade to my example here. I'm going to stretch this out. Press play. And this was the initial fade. So it faded in and then nothing's happening, don't mind that white line, and then it fades out. Well that's not how a record button works, so during we want something to happen. Right now there's none happening during this shape. So I want it to be fading. And then you'll see that it, it fades, now it's starting to you know look more like it. But it's not completely what I remember when I was doing the camcorder videos when I was young. So I want to alter what's happening on the screen here. So you see that the fade, when it's fading, it's it's slight fade, but it's not a full fade. I want a full fade. So I'm going to take this op opacity and bring it all the way down to zero and then press play. It's gonna fade in, fade out, fade in, fade out. And the seconds, the loop time, the loop time is two seconds and the delay is zero seconds. Now I tried the loop time to go a little bit faster, but it's actually not, that was too fast for me. So I actually like this type of fade. I like th going in and out, in and out, like literally one second, one second. If you see here on the example, to me this looks like believable. This looks like it's actually recording, like I'm, I'm filming on a camcorder. So that is how you add the animation to that and that pretty much finishes the whole effect. I mean you could definitely add more effects. You can you can go and download like a grainy effect if you wanted to add more of a some, like on the video have like a grain static effect on, on your video you can definitely add that but that is it that is how you do a really cool 90s camcorder video effect 
in Camtasia. So if I was able to help you out at all, please let me know by giving this video a like, a comment, or a subscribe. All that would be very much appreciated. And if you want to check out the Camtasia software, head down to the description below as I have the links for you guys. Alright guys, well thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Back, back, back from the dead.